Alright, so we're doing fun stuff today. We're going, we've done some goofy small little projects beginning of the year. We're going back to going back to the good stuff. Forge a knife. Uh, I've been working on this little design for a knife because I want kind of an everyday carry knife for myself. I can just carry around my own knife that I forged because I was like carrying around this little bench made. And I'll probably still carry around the bench made because I really like this knife, but I want something of my own. So that is the plan. I'm gonna show you the plan. Oh, that'd be cool if I made like a little blacksmith style knife. Oh, a little blacksmith style knife, kind of like that. And I've actually already tried to build it a few times. I'm thinking I tried like something like this, but I'm thinking I'm going to go something like this. But yeah, that's what we're thinking right there. Something like that. All those, those are, those are failed attempts at making this guy right here. So we are going to try to do it for realsies this time. Are my only two really successful knives of that style, right like that. So this one is going to be more like the size of the knife I'm going to try to make today. I got a punch for punching the slot to make the handle, but I need something to drift it out so I can get it around the horn of the handle. And I had one, but it didn't work very well, and I lost it. So we are going to redo it. I'm just going to make kind of a tapered little punch to stretch it up and look. So that is the plan. I think I'm gonna make it out of this. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a good steal for it, but we're gonna find out. Now I'm just gonna go get some beef spring. I'm gonna cut about an inch and a half off that. Stick her in the porch, and we gotta punch out a little slot that we use to drift, to drift open, to get around the horn, and we gotta stretch the handle out. And that is the plan. So let's do it. I think I'm still going to use the one I worked on today, just because it's a little bigger and uh, it'll save me a little time because 
Uh, this thing is just barely big enough to get this around the horn of the anvil. And if I can just, you know, if I can just drift it out bigger, push that slide out bigger, I'll just be to slide it deeper in the horn of the anvil and probably move the metal a little easier and quicker. All right. Well, I just finished watching Jimmy Duresta's 80th vlog, and my Christmas cleaver showed up on it. Um, which is kind of cool for me because it was like, oh. Jimmy Duresta is holding my knife, you know? Uh, he told me, uh, do us all a favor and lose masking tape, so we're gonna do that before I let up the forge. Goodbye. Goodbye, masking tape. Alrighty, well, the masking tape is gone. It's time to forge again. So, stick the steel in the forge. Alrighty, well, I got it all shit up to grind, but I thought I would take a moment. I used to just store all my belts right down there, uh, but now I got them kind of organized, so it's not so wankity jankity. That didn't sound right. Uh, oh well. But yeah, all good to set up and grind.
Alrighty, well thank you for watching the video. Uh, I had a ton of fun working on this knife. Sheath hides under the shirt pretty good right there. Just friction. Um, right in there, and you know, it's plenty sharp. So, again, find a spice. again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I had a ton of fun making this video. Just to show you the sheath real quick. Look at that. Pretty good, huh? And then, whoop, holds in there pretty good on its own. But anyways, thank you again for watching the video. Uh, if you stuck all the way through, please, if you want to see more videos like this, go subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.